Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be painting my lamps, just the bottom part. I'm going to paint them with chalk paint. I have painted with chalk paint before, but it's been a long time. So I'm gonna show you guys the process. Brooks is down here coloring. What are you coloring, Brooks? What are you coloring? Is this, who is this? It's Marshall. Is this Paw Patrol? Yeah. Yeah. So we went to the Dollar Tree and picked up a couple things and he picked out this coloring book. He's getting ready to go down for his nap so he shouldn't be with us too much longer. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys what I am doing, how I've set it up, yeah. and how I'm going to paint it. So stay and tuned. Then. This is the chalk paint that I picked up. It is by Rust-Oleum and it's their ultra matte paint. This is in linen white. It's supposed to be one coat coverage. I got it from Menards and I believe it was around $16, but they did have their rebate going on where you get 11% off. And um, I just put a couple of trash bags on my countertop and um, I have something else that I'm gonna need the tape for. But for this project, I don't think I'm gonna need any tape. Um, I've got some paint stirrers. I needed to get one of these to um, pop the lid off. And then I just have my lamp sitting on this clear, I don't know, like little container from the Dollar Tree. And I've had it before and I just grabbed it. That way it would be elevated and I could get like really close to the bottom and it could dry really well. So it ends right here. So I'm gonna paint from here all the way down to here. And this is in linen white, so it's just like a bright white color. And then I've got my little bag of paint brushes. And I'm not sure which one I'm gonna use. I'm thinking that I might use this one, this medium sized one. Um, sorry for the stuff in the background. I've just got like a lot of stuff to put up um, But I haven't done it yet because we just got home and I've got like two hours to get this all done So we are just going for it So I am going to get started and just time-lapse this part for you got one of the lamps done and this is what it's looking like so after it dries I think I'm gonna distress it just a little bit um, if you can see I left some of the like brown to peep through and I think once it dries more of that brown is gonna go show through just because if you see this one it's really like textured so it's got all these ridges in it and the paint like I have to really push the paint in there if I want to get them, but I kind of wanted it to look a little, you know, distressed. So once this dries, I'm going to distress it and then I'll do a clear coat, um, a protective clear coat over it. So that's the difference. I think they look so cute and I think it'll really brighten the space instead of it all just being like straight brown. So I'm really happy with it so far. And I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but these brushes that I got are specifically for chalk paint and to give it more of a textured finish. And I got them from Walmart. So they came in a pack of like all of these. So that one that I'm using, it came with this smaller one and a bigger one. And then I also got this one. I'm not sure what this one was for, maybe the wax. Um, it's been so long since I've done this, but these were all from Walmart and they are the folk art brand. So there you go. 
So let's get to painting the second one. The lamps are done. They are almost dried. There's just a couple places in the corners. This one is pretty much dried and I am loving it. I haven't distressed them yet. Um, I'm also not sure if I'm going to. It looks like that one on the left is a little bit taller, but that's just because I had to use a Tupperware little container to prop it up and it was a little bit bigger than the other ones. So this was so easy. Literally, if I can do it, you can do it. So easy, just get your supplies and just start. That's what I love about chalk paint. It just seems to be like so user friendly and kind of foolproof. And then to seal them, I need to go back to Menards and look for like a wax. They were out, um, so I might need to go somewhere else or go to a different one. So that is it for this little project and I'm really happy how it turned out. Here is the finished look. I decided to go ahead and put them in the living room. That's where they were originally, and I like the height of them. So that's what they look like finished. I think it really looks good with the white. It brings it out, the rest of the white in the room, and kind of brightens it up a bit. So thank you guys for watching this video and seeing this little DIY that I did today. It literally took like under 30 minutes to paint both of them. So easy, if you don't like something in your house or you're not sure about the color, just paint it. I'm starting to learn that and I'm really excited to paint like all different kinds of things. I really wanna take on more projects. My next project is a big mirror that I have in my bedroom. I'm gonna be tackling that tomorrow. So if you guys don't already, follow me on Instagram. My username is Kaylin underscore cash and I post on my stories daily. I do a lot more of like daily stuff on there rather than like specific videos like I do on YouTube. So if you like how that sounds and follow me on Instagram and then also subscribe to my channel if you're new. Um, I'm trying to post three times a week and I love doing this so it would really help me if you guys could support this channel and give me a subscribe. Like this video if you like DIYs. I can definitely do a lot more of them in the near future. We just moved into this house not too long ago so I have like all these projects in mind. So stay tuned for that and make sure your bell notification is turned on as well. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.